This video will briefly summarise the main groups of models used in fishery stock assessments and when to use them. So, if we are using catch data and have information on both the yield and the effort exerted by a fleet, but we lack both age and length data of a stock, then a surplus production model is used. An example of this is the Aleutian skate, fished in the Bering Sea. Next, if we have length data, but not age, we tend to do a length-based analysis. This is often used for crustaceans, but these are difficult to age. For example, in the Bering Sea snow crab fishery. Lastly, if we have age data or a reliable way of converting length to age, then a cohort-based method is used. For example, the Norwegian cod stock. So a little bit more detail on these methods. Surplus production models are also referred to as aggregate biomass dynamics models. This is because the model treats the whole stock as one homogeneous aggregation. Each part of the stock is assumed to have the same demographic properties. For example, within the model, there is no variation in natural or fishing mortality. Length-based models split the stock into length categories, where the Thompson and Bell model are widely used example of this. Lastly, cohort-based methods take this a step further and divide the stock into age groups. The advantage of using age in addition to length is that it enables a better understanding of the growth rate of the stock and continues to provide resolution when fish have reached their maximum length. An example of this is Virtual Population Analysis or VPA. I will give detailed explanations of all of the equations used within specific models for each of these groups shown here in separate videos.